welcome back to my channel. I pray that you guys are all doing well today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, and I just thank you for this time that we're able to come together, Lord, and just read your word and let it be encouraging to our lives, God, causing us to activate our faith and just trust in you, Father, and know that you provide all that we need at the right moment every single time. We thank you for this time, in Jesus' name, amen. Today's video is going to be about just being strong and being courageous. I love the scripture found in Joshua 1 and 9. Um, specifically, like the whole chapter is great, but I'm talking about the ninth verse, and it just reads, um, Have I not commanded you? Be strong, be courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you everywhere that you go. And once you read through the whole chapter, he's telling them multiple times to be strong, to be courageous. You know, trust trust what Moses has already told you previously as the years went on. You know, you already know that God is going to give you this land. He is going to provide everything that you need. He's going to tell you exactly where to go, when to go, and what to do. Just trust him in that process. You know, the Lord, your God is with you everywhere that you go. Whenever I used to look at this, I used to be like, okay, so like everywhere I travel, they'll be there? Yes, there too, but emotionally, like mentally, physically, every area, financially, you know, and you trying to get closer to God, He is with you in every single area of your life. God is present. He's present in that current moment. He's present in your future. He's present in your past. And he is pushing you towards purpose, you know, on purpose. So it's it's in a gentle way that he uses the Holy Ghost to direct you and lead you and guide you. And know that, you know, this land is yours. This, whatever it may be that he's doing in your life, if you don't yet see it, what is faith without being tested? What is faith without, you know, having to believe that what God has told you is going to happen? Like, you have to have those moments in order for your faith and your trust in God to grow. So he gives you these scriptures to, you know, activate your faith, activate your trust in your, your firmness in his word, you know. He... He provides us with all that we need to get through every single area of our life. If we just read his word and let it be encouragement to us and remind us that, hey, God has entrusted me with this land, with this place that he's taking me. It's already mine before I even get there. But while I'm yet walking towards that place, I have to stay strong. I have to stay courageous. I have to remind myself of what God has already told me he was going to bless me with in that me getting there I am going to be a blessing to somebody in that time you know um, so yeah I just wanted to share that scripture today because it really just hit different honestly today I seen it in a different way and like God is constantly reminding us of what he is doing what he's already told us already to be strong, to be courageous, do not fear. Fear does not live in the kingdom of God. That is of the kingdom of darkness. So that shouldn't even be coming up. Fear, um, being afraid, being discouraged, having like anxiety or depression or suicidal thoughts or anything that could possibly ever be negative in this world is not God. God is love. God is just peace joy, happiness, like he's, you know, a stable foundation. Like as far as thinking, I always go um, to like having sober thoughts and like a sound mind. Um, that is God. Nothing about him is chaotic. Nothing about him is fearful. Nothing about him is negative in general. So don't let the enemy fight you with those crazy thoughts because that's not of God and that's how you know that it's the enemy. If it's something negative, that's the enemy trying to steal your faith, steal what God has already promised you with. 
So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray right now that um, the scripture was an encouragement to your children, Lord God, that it really just hits different today, that it takes root in their spirits, that everything that is not like you, God, that it just go. We speak peace, we speak love, we speak joy, we speak clear understanding in the name of Jesus right now. Just as I feel it right now on the inside, let them feel it as well. In Jesus' name, thank you for this time, Lord, that your name get the glory, that your name get the honor, and your name get all of the praise. For it is in Jesus' name, I pray I give you thanks. Amen. Guys, do not forget that God is ever so present in every single moment. Um, I just felt the need to just say that. Don't forget that he is present with you in every single moment. The angels of God are with you. The Holy Ghost is with you. God is with you. So read this word because this is a conversation that he is having with you that you could have on the daily. You know, this is how you hear from him is by reading his word, praying to him, journaling, you know, all those great things. It's, there are many different ways to hear God. Um, but this is a great way to get started is by reading his scripture because this is literally him speaking to you through these words so you can physically touch it flip through the pages and see it you know and remember it and let it be rehearsing every single day he tells us to meditate on his word day and night so read it day and night throughout the entire day because it will be amazing all right bye guys have a wonderful day